Hello everyone, welcome back to the study rankers. Today we are learning some common some common chemistry apparatus. So let's get started. Contents test tube, round bottom flask, flat bottom flask, conical flask, beaker, glass rod, funnel, pipette, burette. So let's go to our first topic test tube so you could see this is how a test tube looks and you would be wondering oh, yeah i know test tube but the process of what it is used for it's used for heating chemicals storing chemicals and it is mostly used for boiling chemicals in a high temperature so what are they made out of Por pyrex glass or borosil glass round bottom flask so the first thing might have striked into your mind is so weird how do you it can't stand you might be thinking but few places it would be standing and it has it's used to boil stuff so it it stands on the thing which boils and that will hold it very good and it's also used for storing but very less and also they're called rb flasks so round bottom so they just wrote, took the first letter from r and the first letter from b and they took, took the flask so that's how they named it and they are used in biochemical work and chemical work flat bottom flask flat bottom flask a flask with similar uses as the round bottom flask but with a fl flat bottom so we saw the last one it was this way but this time is this way you guys might be observing so th that's the only difference with them and every the rest is the same conical flask so conical flask it is a flat bottom flask with a cone shape and with a spe spherical uh, head so yeah that's it and it was created by emil Ariar, who, who so he just named it after him so that's why it's called the uh, erlen emir flask a large drinking cup so you could see this it's just like a cup with this small thing it's a lip which helps pour out the liquids and it is used in chemical labs do not it's used to store and it is measured in 50 cc and then 100 cc so it's not measured in any other measurable ways glass rod it's used to mix chemicals so you could see this is a glass rod and this is a test tube if you remember so it's used to stir chemicals and it is longer than a straw so if you think this is the straw it's just a little bit longer and it has rounded ends not like straw and funnel so the funnel I'll just explain you in a simple form so it has big opening you pour a liquid into it and it comes through but you might be thinking what's the use of it the use of it is because if you don't if you want the liquid to go through and not fall off so that's what you do so I poured milk in it and then I kept the bowl over here and then it just goes through it so it's it's used like that and it's usually made from stainless steel aluminium glass or plastic pipit a pipit is a laboratory tool commonly used in chemistry chemistry biology so you guys might be thinking what is a pipit i've never heard of it so it's just very easy and let me just explain you it there you guys will be wondering why I draw it, but I'll explain that later. And it's used to transport a measured volume of liquid. So I have one ml of liquid and I put it through. And then I press this button over here. 
and it's gonna come out so that's what you're thinking but what else is there you guys might be thinking too and that is the upper meniscus for colored solutions and the lower meniscus for the lower for the colorless solution so that's what it is used and that's why I draw that circle so now you guys might be understanding a buret so this is or a buret so see it's this is called a stopcock so the stopcock will allow us to not let a liquid pass through or let a liquid pass through so that's what so if you just let it go and all the liquid comes through and if it doesn't have any liquids it will suck liquid and that just if you again pull it it locks it so that's the difference thank you guys see you in the next video bye whoa, whoa, whoa. don't forget to like and subscribe bye